everyone, my name is Becky, welcome to my channel. Today I thought I'd just do a bit of a, a midweek catch up kind of chatty video. I did put a little message onto my community tab the other day and a few of you said that you would like that. So hopefully you enjoy today's video. I'm gonna be sharing a few bits that I've been working on during the week, including a few things that I've made sewing wise and also a bit of an update on my house project as well. So stay tuned if that's something that you'd like to watch. If you are new to my channel, my channel is all about sewing, things that I've made, sewing inspiration, upcycling, that kind of thing. If you do enjoy today's video, I would love it if you could press that thumbs up button because that encourages YouTube to share my video with other people. And if you could subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already, that would also be amazing. But thank you to everyone who does come back week after week to watch my videos. That is amazing and, and thank you so much. I do appreciate you being here and I enjoy making the videos. For those of you who don't know, I've recently moved house. So I've been on annual leave this week. So I just thought I've got a little bit of extra time. I'm gonna film a little video and just give you a bit of an update about uh, you know, everything really. So my usual videos are about sewing reviews, um, patterns, fabrics, and that kind of thing. So today's video will include a little bit of that stuff, but also I thought you may be interested to hear about my house project as well. So um, if you are interested in the house project, then stay tuned and I'll talk about that in a little while. But sewing wise, I thought I'd give you a bit of an update on where I am with my plans for this month and things that I've been making. So um, on my make nine list this year, I said that I wanted to make the Poppy and Jazz tangerine trousers for my little boy William. So William is one years old and um, he mainly wears little trousers and that kind of thing. So I thought the tangerine trousers looks you know, quite cute and uh, would be lovely to make. So this is the first time that I've had a go at doing them. So here they are, can I just hold those up? They do fit him because I tried them on last night, but I haven't got any pictures yet. So I'll probably share some pictures in my makes video at the end of the month. So um, you'll have to <laughs> tune back in to see those little pictures because by the time he um, gets home from nursery today, it's probably gonna be a little bit too late to take any pictures, unfortunately. Um, but this is a really cute little fabric. So it's got the alphabet basically all over it and little animals and stuff, which I think is so cute because it allows me to kind of say, oh, what letter is that? Or, you know, what animal is that? And it gives us something to talk about as well as it being a pair of trousers, if that makes sense. Um, I really like the design of these trousers. They've got a really thick waistband, which is quite nice because some of the shop bought ones do tend to have quite a thin waistband. And sometimes that can be a little bit annoying. I think if it was me wearing those trousers, I might be a little bit uncomfortable. So having the, um, the thick waistband is really nice. I'm not 100% sure about the finish, to be honest, around the ankle area um, and generally in the in the legs. So the legs are quite wide on these trousers, which is good and bad, I think, because I think it's good because they're comfortable, um, but it's maybe bad because the fit is not quite as good as it, perhaps some of William's shop uh, leggings that he wears. So I think perhaps if I was to make these again, I'd maybe just um, bring those trouser legs in a little bit to make them a little bit tighter fit in. And I'd quite like the finish on the ankle to have a little cuff on there maybe, rather than just be being finished with the top stitch. So um, I actually made these in size 12 to 18 months, um, but I think perhaps next time I'd make them in the, the bigger size. I looked at the size 18 to 24 months on the pattern and I thought, oh, it looks a little bit long. Um, I thought it was gonna be too long, but actually I probably should have gone for that one because even though these ones fit absolutely fine in the body and down the leg, they are perhaps a little bit short in the overall length. So they would be fine for pyjama trousers, I think. And I might make a little matching um, top to go with them, possibly the Poppy and Jazz Strawberry Sweatshirt, but I'm not sure yet. Um, but this fabric um, I got from Eliza Mac Fabrics. It's a really nice quality fabric. It's cotton jersey, I would say. Um, it's got a nice amount of stretch to it. Um, it's washed really well, actually, as well. I always put my material through um, the washing machine before I use it. So, um, but I'm really pleased with, with that little project overall. I'm just not 100% sure on the details that I mentioned before, but obviously that's something that I can maybe correct next time. Um, so that's the first thing I wanted to share with you today. Um, the next thing is a skirt project that I've been wanting to work on for ages. And again, this was in my make nine list, and this is the Jennifer Lauren Felicity skirt. So this is actually an add-on pack from the original dress pattern. Um, so here it is. I will try and put in a bit of footage of me actually wearing this as well so that you can see it. Um, but again, actually, I bought this fabric from Eliza Mac Fabrics. It's a 
needle cord, baby baby cord. I'm never quite sure what you call this, but basically like a, a cord fabric that's quite lightweight. I love the print of it. I love that it's got the little birds on there and the flowers and all that kind of thing. I absolutely love the colours as well. Um, now, I'm not 100% sold, to be honest, on this skirt. I don't know if it's the fabric that I've used. The fabric's beautiful quality. It's really, really nice, but I'm not sure if it was right for this project, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think because it's got quite a lot of gathering in it. Um, I don't know if the fabric's just slightly bulky. I'm not sure. Um, also, I'm a little bit annoyed at myself because I measured the waistband quite a few times during the making process and I thought yes that's definitely going to fit so I made this in a straightforward size 10 so my body measurements are 32 bust 28 waist and um, a 40 hip so according to the final garment measurements on the pattern the size 10 should have been absolutely fine and it, it is fine but I feel like it's just fine rather than like oh I really like the fit of that if you know what I mean so yeah, I, I don't know. I don't I don't think that it's a perfect fit on me, to be honest, which is a little bit of a shame, you know, when you spent quite a long time making something. And this skirt actually involved quite a lot of unpicking because I had to get the unpicker out because my gathers weren't particularly equal across the front of the skirt, particularly. I thought that's probably going to annoy me a little bit. So I had to get the unpicker out and sort that out. Now, one of the nice details about this skirt is it has got some nice pockets on the front. Um, they're fairly deep. They're perhaps not as deep as I'd like them to be, um, but they are decent sized pockets um, overall. Um, the skirt project should have come together quite quickly. It did fair, it did come together fairly quickly, but it would have been quicker if I'd not had to do so much unpicking. Um, I finished mine with an invisible zip at the back, um, but I think the pattern suggests using a lap zip or an exposed zip. I think it was a lap zip, um, but I just prefer the finish of an invisible zip. So that's what I decided to use on this occasion. Um, in terms of the length, um, I cut my skirt off at the point on the pattern that says lengthen or shorten here. So it comes to around about my knee, which is quite a good length for me, to be honest, but you could actually cut it quite a lot longer. And I think it would be underneath my knees, uh, under my knees, should I say. Um, and I'm quite tall, I'm, I'm five foot 10. Um, so depending on how short or long you like your skirts and depending on the height, um, that you are then you might want to consider that if you are going to make this skirt um, there is another version of the skirt in the pattern pack that you could make which is more of a circle skirt so maybe I'll have a go at doing that one at some point um, but I will have to have a look at the fit on the waist I think next time I'm not quite sure if I can be bothered to unpick all of this again and you know try and sort out the fit so I think I'll maybe just have to wear it a couple of times and then just see how I get on with it um, but yeah, it's, it's quite a nice skirt and it's just, it's a lovely fabric, but you know, sometimes you make things and you're just not a hundred percent, you know, you just think, oh, I'm not sure if that's really me, but never mind, it happens, doesn't it? So, um, but yeah, I've got uh, plans for this afternoon in terms of um, doing a little bit of sewing as well. I'm hoping to start to work on my Sew Over It Ava skirt if I can. Um, as I said, I am on leave from work this week, so I've got a little bit of extra time for sewing and that kind of thing. Um, we've got quite a lot going on in the house at the moment though. Um, so if you are interested in my house project, basically um, we've moved house and we've moved into a 1960s time warp, to be honest, type house. So there's quite a lot of original features about the house, which is one of the things that we absolutely love about it. Um, we've got original carpets, we've got some original kitchen units, um, we've got a lot of old curtains and yeah, lo lots of things um, to be um, doing in the house. So uh, recently we've been having a go at upcycling some of the wardrobes that were upstairs. So I'm quite pleased with how that worked out. So I will try and um, slot in a couple of pictures of how they looked before and after. So the original finish was a kind of wood, plain wood type finish, maybe got a varnish on there, um, but we've, we've actually painted them and they look really smart, so I'm really pleased with them. They kind of got, got a bit of a retro look about them now, but um, yeah, they just look really nice. I'm really pleased with them. And it's quite nice to upcycle things, I think, rather than just ripping everything out and starting again. The wardrobes have actually got a beautiful round mirror on there as well with a light above, which is really, really nice. So that could be perfect for putting on makeup and just generally getting ready in the morning. Although to be honest, it's not actually my bedroom. It's the spare bedroom, but nevertheless, the wardrobes are really, really nice. And so is the mirror. My Labrador Bentley's just come to join me in the chair. It's just here. I know some of you like to see Bentley. Um, I've forgotten where I got to now because that someone came to the door and then I've had to stop and then start again. 
But um, yeah, so the house project is underway. We've only been in for three weeks-ish now, uh, but we've got plenty to do. So do let me know if you are interested in me keeping you up to date with how we're getting on with everything in the house. I'm going to be doing some bits and pieces to William's room. I've created a little Pinterest board of lots of ideas for, you know, toddler bedrooms and that kind of thing. So I've got lots of ideas kind of floating around in my mind for that sort of stuff. So I'll keep you posted on that if you are interested in me doing that. And we've got lots of, um, like I say, original features running through the house, including uh, carpets and different things. We, we are going to be having a little bit of building work done, not lots, but a little bit. So I can keep you posted on, on that and kind of showing you how we're redesigning everything if um, if you're interested in seeing it. Um, but I don't want to bore you with that kind of stuff if you really are just interested in my, in my sewing journey and my sewing projects and that kind of thing. I'm sure I will be making a few bits and bobs for the house as we go along as well. I have tried to put up some of my handmade bunting already in the kitchen, although it did fall down because... I stuck it on the sellotape and yeah, it wasn't that great, but I didn't want to go ham hammering things um, into walls and different things when we're not really sure exactly what we're doing at the moment. Um, another project that I did this week um, during my annual leave was to take up some curtains. Uh, I got given some curtains by my mother-in-law, which was really kind because I'm sure you know, um, curtains are so expensive to buy. So um, it's quite nice to be able to reuse something anyway and you know make it fit my windows so I found myself the other day um standing on uh, something in the bedroom to try and take down my old curtains I had to do a little bit of faffing around with um the curtain pole and uh, get the old curtains off and um, put my new curtains up I had to sort of remeasure the window and, and turn up the bottoms of, of my curtains uh, my new ones that is um but they all seem to be fitting now and they all look um quite smart um so yeah, that was a little sewing project this week and a bit of upcycling of, of those old curtains and things. Um, so yeah, I was pleased to I was pleased to be able to you know put my sewing machine and my sewing skills to good use for something in the house rather than just making things for myself. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed watching today's video and learning a little bit more about my. Um, bits and bobs that I've got going on at the moment. I know some of you did say that you'd like more of a chatty video so if this is something that you do enjoy watching then let me know in the comments below um, and maybe I can film another one at some point. But until next time I'll leave it there. Don't forget if you have enjoyed watching today please do hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already and I'll be back very soon with my February makes video. Um, I'm going to be revealing my winter caps to your wardrobe soon and I've got lots of other um, ideas and videos coming up including my so frugal 2022 video uh, where I'm going to be using some um, free patterns to make something during the month of March. So keep a watch out for all of those and I'll see you very soon. Bye.